Now today is actually a holiday here in Taiwan, the Dongyuanjie Ghost Festival. So that's one of my favorite things about living here in Taiwan. That is good. So I'm gonna grab a big bite. But now I've found a new hot pot. I'll clean it up. Hello Taiwan! My name is Logan Beck and welcome to the Jianghua City Water Dan. Um, today I am actually going to Taichung. Oh, I gotta get on my train. <laughs> there we go. Now today is actually a holiday here in Taiwan today. Well, it, it counts as a holiday, I should say. See, according to the lunar calendar, every single seventh month and the fifteenth day of that month, it is a holiday here. It's called Dongyuanjie, and that translates to the Ghost Festival. And it is quite the interesting holiday, and I'm excited to tell you guys a little bit more about that. Now, this Ghost Festival is not to be confused with the other large Ghost Festival that happens here in Taiwan. <clears throat> That's Yue Guijie, and that is a whole month where they open up the gates of the ghosts and they spread all throughout Taiwan. So this is not the same, but it happens in the same exact lunar month. I sadly didn't have time to film that, however, this year, but hopefully next year I would love to film more about that and show you and tell you a lot more about the Guiyue Jie. <laughs> that is quite, quite the thing here in Taiwan. So today's ghost festivals is just a little bit different than the Guiyue Jie. Today's ghost festival, the exact Chinese name is Dongyuanjie, and that is just simply a day to go worship your ancestors, to do a thing that they call bye bye. There has been lots of people, countless amounts of people, right outside their businesses, right outside their homes, set up tables, and these tables have lots of food that they offer to their ancestors, as well as lots of people have had barrels, big barrels, right outside their doors, or, or once again, right outside their offices where they start a big fire and they burn lots of this money that goes to their ancestors on the other side of the realm. So it's been a very fun day, especially to see all of this. There's been lots of people doing it. And that's one of my favorite things about living abroad, especially living abroad in an Asian country such as Taiwan. It's all of the different cultural and religious things that go on. You get to expand your knowledge, you get to expand your, your brain for thoughts. Because these are things that never happen in America. These are things that I grew up never even heard, learning about. Seeing, so it's really fun to come to a whole different world and experience a whole different life. So that's one of my favorite things about living here in Taiwan. And we are here! We are here in Taichung. Actually, to be more correct, we are in one of my favorite places here in central Taiwan, Yi Zhong Jie. <laughs> this is a wonderful street full of food, full of people, and I absolutely love it. It's a place that my wife and I come a lot. So if you're used to watching all my videos, you'll know that I come here very frequently and it's a place that I just love to go to on a normal night as well on, on a busy weekend because this place is always packed. So I'm going to go look around, we're going to have some fun. Um, I am going to be eating some of the street food around here but my wife wants to go try out a restaurant and I haven't shown you guys all the restaurants that also border the street. So we'll have fun tonight. Okay, so as I said before, Yi Zhongjie, this street is full of lots of little fun things to eat as well as it is full of restaurants. So today I'm actually going to a restaurant. I'm really excited. I am going to this Korean restaurant. Look at this. Um, yes. <laughs> um, I do not read Korean. So actually, I don't know what the name of this restaurant is, but it is just right here in Yi Zhongjie. So if you guys know Korean, in the comments down below, let me know what this place is. But Lately, I have just loved to have Korean food. And right here, if you see the menu, they have this. And Koreans have this really, really awesome style of doing a hot pot. So lately, I've been in love with the Korean style of hot pots. It's something my wife and I love to go eat a lot. So I'm going to head inside the store and we're going to have some food. But real quick, I have started to love a different kind of hot pot. See, before I've said I am the king of mala hoko, but now I've found a new hot pot. It is called, wait, I gotta open the door. It is called Nyonai Hoko. Really good. Um, the other day when I ate a durian, I actually went to a place and I ate it. So check it out. Okay guys, we decided before I move on to the Liolian Shui Hobby, it is time to clean my palate. To have a new start so we can really experiment on this thing that I hope is going to be really wonderful. So we decided to come have some hot pot because hot pot is the best. I absolutely love hot pot. And in Zhanghua City, there's this place called Baoge. 
I love this place because they have a kind of hot pot that I think is wonderful. Now, all of you may know I absolutely love mala huoguo. Wo hui suan wo zijiji, mala huoguo zhiwan. But there's something that I love even more than mala huoguo. It is this. Oh gosh. Okay. Um. Woo. Did you see that? That's niu nai huoguo. It's a milk hot pot. Mix the meat and all the lettuce in there tastes amazing. So I am taking a break from spicy food. Oh gosh. Xiao Xin. Oh no. Okay. So anyway, I am taking a break from spicy food from Mala, but I will be having some of this milk stuff. And then uh, for my friend out there, Mr. Turkey, best of Taiwan, one of these days we will have some hot pot, some Tebia La Mala Huoguo, Iji Kei Chi. So I hope you're watching this because it's going to happen. I need a major. Another really good thing that's great about this hot pot place is man, you can just get loads of meat. Oh. <laughs> I'll clean that up. It is now time to actually try this hot pot. I'm really excited. Whenever you eat a hot pot, the number one thing that you need to do is always try the soup, the base. Oh, that's hot! The taste in there is actually really good. It's got a little spice to it. So, let's try some of these noodles. That is really good. That, that, okay. Everything is so hot. I won't show you these. These are, I believe they're called rice cakes. I absolutely love them. Oh yeah, this hot pot is killer. It's even got some pumpkins in there. I'm gonna continue eating it and then we can go check out Eat Don't See It Together. Okay, this is what I find so fun here in the night markets and lots of these food places here in Taiwan are the corn dogs. Okay, so we've got different flavors. It looks like this has got little crispies, little fries. This has big fries, big fries baked in with that um, corn dog. We've also got the normal flavor and some places, a lot of places, will have strawberry flavored, caudal flavored, lots of fun, interesting, different kind of corn dog. So, if you're a corn dog fan, make your way here to Taiwan. Milk. That is good. That is good stuff. Okay, guys, so this is the dessert for the night, and I'm excited to try it. So what it is, is it is a crepe. I'll show you right here. It is um it is a little crepe, and they put ice cream in the middle and they'll put fruit. So we got a peach crepe ice cream thingy. So I'm really excited to try it and show you and Something about myself is I am a sweet tooth. If you don't know what a sweet tooth is, that is someone that absolutely loves to eat sweet. Sweet tooth. So, I've got a really bad, and I'm excited to treat myself to something really sweet and ice creamy. Oh my gosh. Oh! Look at that. <laughs> so, once again, it's ice cream with the crepe, loaded with whipped cream and peaches. And, and there's even this fun little straw thingy. I'm going to grab a big bite. That is, that is amazing. <laughs> Woo! Okay guys, tonight's epic fun run of Yijongjie, my favorite place here in Taichung, here in this central area of Taiwan, is finally done. We are now going to be heading all the way back to Jianghua, so uh, let's go. Okay guys, we are back 
in the beloved Jiangpa city. Um, real quick, for all those people that came up to me tonight and all the other times in the past, ask for a picture, thank you. It means a lot. I love saying hi to you guys. Sometimes I am spending wonderful, wonderful time with my family, and I'd rather just give you a high five and so then I can get back and I could be with my family. So I hope you guys understand, but thank you a lot. Thanks again for joining the adventures. If you're new, hit that subscribe button because I go lots of places and I want to take you with me. Well, I think you guys all know the drill. Until next time, I'll see you in Taiwan.